There are many reasons why people get head, neck, or facial pain. And what we have to determine is, is your bite a factor in the pain that you're having? So in order to do that, we go through a four-step diagnostic process. Step number one is, is there any evidence that you're clenching or grinding your teeth? Step number two is, is there a conflict between your teeth and your jaw joints? In other words, when your teeth come together, because they fit together only one way, do your teeth literally pull your jaw joints out of the socket? Number three, is there any corresponding muscle soreness that goes along with that? And number four, if all those have, are true, will the best bite to secluder take some or all of your pain away? Because if it does, and all those steps are, we can connect all the dots with all those steps, that means that your bite is the source of the pain. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So if we look at your teeth first, what I can see is there's some wear on the biting edges of your teeth in the back, hmm. number one. And number two, I can see some recession of your gums. So I know for sure that you're clenching or grinding your teeth. Even if you're not aware of it, the evidence is there. I can see that. Okay. Number two question is, let's see if there's a conflict between your teeth and your jaw joints. So if you tip your head up a little bit, and we let your jaw relax now, what I want to do is I want to let your jaw joints center. So your jaw joints are up here in front of your ear. Mm -hmm. And so if you just relax your jaw a little bit, and just slowly open and close your mouth. What I want you to do is I want you just to very slowly close until you just barely touch and then tell me if one side touches before the other, okay? Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and do it slowly like a feather. Just touch very lightly and make a little noise so I know you're touching. Okay, yeah. which side's touching first? Uh, right. Okay, good, let's try it one more time. Okay, just slowly close so you just barely touch. Same place? Yeah. Okay, so now what happens is when your jaw joints are centered, you're just touching on the right side. Next step is to see what happens when your teeth go all the way together. Okay, so tip your head up a little bit and just let your jaw relax a little bit and close so you just barely touch. Stop when you touch and hold right there for a minute. You're touching now? Mm hmm Okay, then squeeze together. Feel your teeth shift? Mm hmm Try it one more time, close so you just touch. And then squeeze together. What happens is when you close your teeth together, you first you just touch on the right-hand side. And then in order for all your teeth to touch, you feel your jaw shifts over to the left and then back to the right? Yeah. So when it does that, it pulls your jaws out of the socket because the jaws have to go along with your teeth. So there's obviously a conflict between your teeth and your jaw joints. Right. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is we'll check the jaw muscles to see if there's any corresponding soreness. So let's check the masseter muscles. Is there any soreness in here? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay, not much. Okay. And what about up here, around your temples? It's, it's a little sore, yeah. A little sore. And on both sides? Yeah. Okay. And what about down the back of your neck? Any soreness there? Um, it's, it's slight, yeah, a little. Not much, though, really. Okay. okay. Now, the last muscle I want to check, which is the most important one, is called the lateral pterygoid muscle, and that's inside your mouth. Okay. So if you open your mouth a little bit now, close your mouth a little bit, and how's that right up in here? Oh, that, that hurts. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty sore. Yeah. Let's try the other side. Oh, yeah. One side worse than the other? Or no, they're both the same. pretty sore. No. Most people think I'm poking them pretty hard, so I want to borrow your finger for a minute. Okay. And I want you to put your finger in where mine was and just test it and see how that feels right in the back up towards your ear. Oh. So you didn't have to take much pressure to cause that pain. No. So that tells us that now the third step of the corresponding muscle soreness has been met. The last thing to do is to determine is if the best bite discluder will relieve some or all of the pain, and that will connect all the dots. Okay. Okay, so let's try that now. Tip your head up a little bit. Now, remember your jaw joints want to be centered, so what the best bite discluder will do is it will prevent your back teeth from throwing your jaw out of the socket and allow your jaw joints to center, and at the same time, take any muscle spasm away. Okay. Where is it hurting right now? If you can just point um, to where you're feeling it. Well, I have, a, I have a headache. It hurts here and um, a little bit back here. 
And if you had to rate it from one to ten, with one being no pain at all and ten being a lot of pain? Um, I, I would say it's about a seven now. Right now it's about a seven? Yeah. Is it worse on one side than the other? Um, yeah, it's more over here. Okay. So let's use the Best Bite Discluder. Open your mouth a little bit, please. I will slide this into your mouth. And tip your head up a little bit more. And just let your jaw relax a little bit now. Good. So all you want to do is just slowly close your teeth up and down. What this is doing is it's letting your jaw joints center without your teeth having the ability to pull the jaw out of the socket. Mm -hmm. And as your jaw joints center, the muscles will release. How are you feeling now? Uh, I feel better. Okay. Do you have any discomfort right now? Um, no, not really. From 1 to 10, where are you right now? Uh, about a two, two. or one. Two. Okay, so it's mostly gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's take this out for a minute now. Now, if you close your teeth up together and swallow a couple of times, clench, it, clench up a little bit. How are you feeling now? It's starting to come back. I can feel the pressure building up again. It's starting to tighten up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, and from one to ten now? Um, about a four or five. Okay, okay. Open mouth a little bit now. Let's put this back in again. Just let your jaw relax a little bit now. How are you doing now? It's gone again. Gone again? Okay. Now what I want you to do is, while this is in your mouth, I want you to reach up like the way you did a moment ago. Mm -hmm. And just test that muscle again. Okay. Oh. It, it, feels, it feels much better. So what we've done is we've gone through the four-step process to see what part of the head, neck, or facial pain that you have is contrib being contributed to by your bite. Mm -hmm. We know that you're clenching and grinding your teeth because we can see that evidence. We can tell that there's a lot of muscle soreness because you can feel that. Mm -hmm. And number three, we can see there's a conflict and you can feel that as well between your teeth, where your teeth force your jaw to go, where your jaw would like to go. Yeah. And the last thing that connects all the dots is that the best bite discluder takes the pain away. So now we know for sure that your bite's the problem. Based on the fact that this is taking the pain away, we know that by fixing your bite, we can get an equal response in terms of taking the pain away. And you can use a discluder between visits to manage any discomfort you might have in between. Great.